2019, that was one hell of a year. Not only with the obvious YouTube success and the preparation for the launch of my coffee company, First Supply Coffee, but also with a few things that y'all don't yet know about. I'll touch on a big one in the next video, so stay tuned. Now today, I want to do a bit of a retrospective on 2019 and discuss my plans for 2020. We have a lot of things going on this year that will change the channel forever, for the better forever. But for now, let's take a look at the channel over the past year. We started off 2019 with 43,000 subscribers and finished it off with 168,000. That is an increase of 125,000 subscribers. For views, we started off 2019 with 2.3 million total channel views and finished it off with 8.3 million. That is an increase of 6 million views in 2019 alone. Now to put this all into perspective, I started my channel in the summer of 2016. So that took me two and a half years to get to that 43,000 subscriber mark with 2.3 million views. It only took one year to just about quadruple that amount. Here we have the first video I uploaded in 2019, suitly named Welcome to 2019, where I set out a few goals for myself that I know I want to sustain throughout 2019. I don't care to go over all of them, but I do know one goal was to reduce my coffee consumption. <laughs> and uh, well, to say the least, that one didn't last long. Con considering. You know what? Let me take a second here. If you haven't gotten your order in for First Supply Coffee, get that done today. The response has been greater than my wildest dreams. So much so that we're not only roasting a batch on Tuesdays, we're actually doing a second roast and roasting a batch on a Thursday. So get your order in, we'll be shipping it out fresh. But just know, if you're someone who likes to buy a can of coffee for two bucks and you end up ordering this, it'll ruin that two buck coffee for you forever. That's how good this stuff is. Another goal I laid out in this video was to do more coding for myself. And I did. Actually, before I did, I had actually quit coding for myself altogether. The last thing I wanted to do was be coding all day at my job and come home and do even more coding. That's what I laid out here in this video, which was initially named why I quit coding until I realized. It didn't compute in, in my head. It didn't compute that it would be perceived as me actually quitting coding even though that's exactly what the title said. It's just such a far-fetched idea that I would quit coding altogether that it, it just never even crossed my mind. But once I got myself into gear, I got to work. I didn't show y'all any of the work I was doing on the side, mainly because when I went into coding with the mindset that I'm gonna be making a video out of this, it just, it would throw me off. But this year, you'll see. You'll see everything I was learning everything I was working for, and that was leading up into my big plans for this year. You just gotta trust me on this. When I say this year, the channel is gonna change for the better, this year is gonna be fun. You know what, one more goal that I actually really wanna touch on right now that I knew I listed in 2019, uh, in this video for 2019, is that I wanted to upload 52 total videos in 2019. That would be an average of an average of one a week. And I knew some weeks I was gonna be able to upload two, maybe three other weeks I knew I was gonna be able to upload any. So I figured an average of one a week, that would be good. We actually hit 46 videos uploaded in 2019, so we didn't quite hit it. But all in all, 46 videos in a year, I'm happy with that. Now before we dive into some of these videos a little bit more specifically, let's take a look overall how the channel looked. So I know I started off a little bit where I wanted to share more about like, uh, I want to share a little bit more with y'all about my life, about what was going on, connect with y'all, and I also want to have a video documentation of what was going on in my life, and that is why this one is a little bit more vloggy, this one is a little bit more vloggy, this one's a little bit more vloggy, but in each one, I knew I was going to be touching on some type of programming topic. This video, I think I took y'all through my day as a software developer. This video, I talked obviously about imposter syndrome when it comes to software developers. And in this one, obviously programming is not easy. I think I touched on the Dunning-Kruger effect and how a lot of newbie programmers think that programming is the easiest thing in the world until they actually face a real problem, all while taking you through my day of what was going on. And speaking of vloggy stuff, this video right here, nothing to do with programming whatsoever. I just wanted a video documentation of us going out to Pennsylvania to pick up our new puppy, Rainy, and that's exactly what I did, uploaded this video. And besides that, there's a few tips and trick type videos, like three tips to make you a better software developer. How to think like a programmer. Towards the end of the year, I know I did a little bit more. The key to improving as a programmer, Talked a little bit more about time boxing for programmers, three coding tricks no one talks about, five bad habits of programming. I know I made a decent amount of those and I really enjoyed making those, but I feel like I can't be making those forever. If there's one that pops into my head, maybe I'll end up making that this year, but I, I 
have a direction that I know I want to go for 2020 and that is the plan as long as y'all respond well to it. That is for the videos that I plan to start releasing in March or April or May. And then I had a few story time videos like how to actually get a software development job, the story of getting my first engineering job and that was me kind of sitting in front of the camera just kind of just laying out my experiences in each of these facets. Now let's dive a little deeper into some of the more meaningful videos. So the open source computer science degree. This one while isn't the most viewed, it is pretty high up there, but not the most viewed for 2019, was definitely the most impactful for 2019. Had a lot of work to go into it, but it was 100% the most rewarding. For those that don't know, the Open Source Computer Science degree video was me going through this repository that I created, Open Source CS, it's over on my GitHub, and I just created the Open Source Computer Science degree. It has computer science basics, programming courses, all of these at the time of making this were free. I heard of some people talking about payment gateways coming up. I, I saw other people disputing those claims. So I'm not 100% sure how this sits, but I laid out everything. I laid out courses, the school that's offering those courses, and all these courses are online, mind you. The duration, the effort, the frequency, the prerequisite. This was all about. It was a really fun one, and not only did it get 10,000 stars, almost 2,000 forks, and currently has 777 people watching it, but I know for the first week or two, it was trending on GitHub. I also mentioned that on Reddit, I believe it was the subreddit, CS Career Questions, someone posted this within the first month, and that one was hot or trending over on that subreddit for a solid week or two. And I've seen a lot of other people when it comes to what do, what do colleges and basically what is offered online for free uh, when it comes to computer science courses, and a lot of people on different subreddits and different posts on Stack Overflow linked to this repository right here. So that's pretty cool. Another fun fact of the day is that this single repository right here, it put me into the top 500 of the most followed GitHub users on the platform, which is absolutely insane. I would love to be able to, to increase that and maybe into the top, I think I may be in the top 400. I'm either around 350 or 450. I don't recall right now, but I want to be able to get it to the top 300, top 200, not for any reason other than I know the only way to get there is to be using GitHub more and I wanna use GitHub more. I also mentioned when I say it's the most impactful, I've gotten countless of Instagram DMs and emails about people messaging me about that repository, about this video, the open source computer science degree, just be, just showing their gratitude and taking the dive into actually learning computer science with this, this repository or curriculum, I should call it. So very cool. And these first six videos, very good. We have, of course, we have Welcome 2019, which that's not very searchable, 9.6K views, but that's a good amount of views. Almost forgot my coffee, 8.1K views. I'm gonna touch on why I titled it that here in a second, but they have 150,000 views, 60,000 views, 316,000 views, and 201,000 views. And then almost forgot my coffee. Now, there's a little bit of a story behind this. I It was kind of like a, like a test case. I wanted to see how many of y'all would watch this video where it didn't have a clickbait title and it just had a regular thumbnail that was taken right out of the video. Nothing was enticing other than y'all wanted to watch a video that I created and within the first week or so, six or 7,000 of y'all watched this video, which was awesome. I think I was just taking you through my day uh, as a software developer, like on the way to work, talk about work after work and just things of that nature. But to know that six to 7,000 of y'all wanted to watch my video regardless of what I posted, that was a really good feeling. Hopping on over to coding my first electronics project. This is when I started creating the YouTube subscriber counter, which I actually ended up finishing, but ended up losing in the move from my old house into this house. That was a fun one. That was trying to fulfill my goal of coding my own projects. I just need to spice it up a little bit by throwing in some of those electronic components. Then we jump on over to a good old fashioned Q&A video, and then our very first, and as of yet, only giveaway on the channel is when I gave away the same type of keyboard as this. I bought a brand new one, put it in a box, and shipped it off to Texas for the person who ended up winning. Oh, and then there's a few videos up here that kind of confuse me a little bit because when you upload a video, you have a, a, a thought of, I think this video is going to do well, or I think this video will do okay. Like a day in the life of a software engineer. I know those videos are going to do well because a lot of people like to see that. I like to see other people's videos of that. What's in my software developer bag? I know people really like to see those types of videos, so I knew that video was going to do well. So when it came to my old computer science resumes and my process of completing a software engineering task, I thought those were going to 
to do way better than they initially did. So now they have 29,000 views and 18,000 views. I mean, those are a lot of views, but when it first got uploaded, each of these videos, y'all didn't respond too well to them. When it came to my process of completing a software engineering task, I took y'all all the way through the whole entire process. Back to the project management software where a task would be in the backlog, you'd throw it into your sprint. From your sprint, you would take it into the to-do, to the in-progress, into the done columns. I'll take you into what I wrote down before completing the task, the whole entire pr uh, problem solving process, then actually diving into the code. In fact, in that video, we actually did dive into the code. And then when it came to the my old computer computer science resumes, I just thought y'all would really like to see my old computer science resumes, me dissecting it, giving you a little bit of a backstory of the different types of places I applied to, how I catered each resume to each different job listing, and, and basically why I did what I did, what worked, what didn't, so on and so forth. And those two, I just thought would get a lot more views than they did. My Linux Ubuntu setup for software development. Now, here's the thing. Like I expected my old computer science resumes to do really well and my process of completing a software engineering test video to do really well, my Linux Ubuntu setup for software development, I didn't expect that video to do 190,000 views. I thought maybe, you know, 5,000 or 10,000 views, but y'all really seem to like that. I guess the YouTube algorithm had its thing with it, so it just kind of blew up from there, and that was, that was pretty cool to see. They surveyed 90,000 developers. Yep. Let me talk about this for a second. So this video is a Stack Overflow Developer Survey results. We went over the results. I kind of went through how I would answer each question for the developer survey. And somebody, I think the post has since been deleted, but on Stack Overflow Meta, somebody posted how they were furious about my Skillshare integration into this video. I literally just, I did a nice smooth integration. Y'all complimented quite a bit but someone said they were furious and they were they emailed Stack Overflow to get this video taken down because they thought that I was uh, deceiving my viewers. I'm like, I just thought that was a pretty cool way to do an ad integration. Didn't think anyone was gonna get upset about it. Oh, man, so there's some interesting people out there. Five developer tools you need, that was a fun one. This was the very first video of my three-part series of building a PC. I picked my PC parts. I kind of went through, I wanted to get y'all's feedback on, hey, I'm building a new PC, this is what I'm thinking, what do y'all think? And most of y'all recommended I wait just for about a month or so for the new AMD Ryzen 7 chips to be announced and whatever GPUs are announced uh, along with those. And that's exactly what I did. This is episode one. We hopped over here a couple months later to episode two. I built a new AMD Ryzen 7 3700X PC, which is exactly what you see right here in the background. That, that was a really fun video. And then finish it off with episode three, where, where if you didn't watch that video, you wouldn't have known, is that my 2060 Super, my GeForce RTX 2060 Super graphics card was a brick. This one that you see right here in this picture, completely bricked. I contacted NVIDIA, sent it back, I got a new one, and that's kind of what I discussed in this video, but most of y'all didn't see it because this was my worst performing video of 2019 with three months later, maybe almost four months later, only 5.6 thousand views. And I say only relative to 100,000 views, 36,000 views, 26,000 views, and even 10,000 views. We had a few more videos coming through. My regrets as a computer science student, which are the things I wish I knew as a computer science student, just kind of sharing my experiences. And then fast forward up to my new office build out. So what you see back here, this is my old office in the background here. This is my old office in the background here, my old office in the background here. And this, what you see in this video and in this thumbnail right here is my new office. I take you through building the top of this desk, building this shelf back here, and just kind of putting everything together, all in preparation for building my new PC. And given the success of the open source computer science degree repository, there were a lot of poor requests that needed to be done, and that's a little bit of what we did in this video. We also addressed a bit of how people were claiming that some of these courses were no longer free in this video as well. Tips and tricks, tips and tricks, tips and tricks, tips and tricks. And then I'm starting a new project. This video was going over the mock-up of my new website for First Supply Coffee. You'll see the painter's tape and the post-it notes and the thumbnail. I wanted to hide out exactly what the business was because I wasn't 100% sure when everything would get done. The logo design, the website uh, design and development, and everything else that needed to get done, all the logistics and operations. We had already found a roaster and figured out our blend and whatnot, but that was mostly it. So over the past two months since me announcing this, a lot of work had gotten done that y'all seen in the last two videos, and this was the beginning of 
with that website project. Ways to make money as a developer. If you're watching this video right now and you see that title and that thumbnail, if you aren't already a developer, don't watch that video. I have a feeling that people didn't take my disclaimer at the beginning of the video because it has 113,000 views. And according to the watch time uh, that I've seen, a lot of people didn't click off of the video at that time, although a lot of people did. Ways to make money as a developer, you shouldn't be watching if you're not already a developer because you shouldn't be getting into software development. The only reason you're doing it is for the money. Sure, that's a nice perk, but you're gonna be making a lot more money in something that you actually like doing. So if you actually like coding, you just want to figure out how to make it your job or make it a little bit of extra income on the side, those are the people who should watch this video. An overview of agile development. Another one of those videos that I thought would do better than it did, because if you're a software developer, you plan to become a professional software developer, 100% you're gonna be stumbling across or using on a day-to-day -day basis agile methodologies. And this video is all about the overview of agile development and my experience with it. A good old fashioned Q&A started off heavy with the computer science questions and we kind of drifted on into more generic software engineering questions. Learn how to read code, we hopped on into Java. Also looked at a little bit of C++. I just gave you the full on rundown for beginners or people that just need a refresher of what's a class, what's a function, what's a method. That's what we did in that video. And then we finished off 2019 with the software developer mentality video where I went over a little bit of the soft skills but a lot more in depth than I feel like a lot of other people normally do. You know, I actually wanted this video to be the final video of 2019 where, you know, we're taking a look back in 2019 and plans for 2020, but things didn't work out that way. We ended up hopping on into 2020 and starting off with the launch of my coffee company, First Supply Coffee, and then the next video, as of right now, yesterday's video, the process of building the website, where I took 40 hours of footage of me building this website and tried to condense it down into a 14 minute video where you saw some of the work that was done when it came to building the website, as well as me kind of tying together the pieces so you get a full understanding of what was going on. Now, plans for 2020. I have a lot of videos I want to make in January, a few stories that I want to share, a few things like in next video that I need to talk about that have been going on behind the scenes over the last year. But all in all, we're only a couple months away from being able to describe my whole entire YouTube channel in only two words, artificial intelligence. <laughs>